la vie. Na tokea kine. Kiwanja. Goma. Kiwanja singambo ya goma. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah you guys, this is how Kukapu looks like right here. The other thing I'm realizing a lot of Rwandan and Ugandan products. Looks like almost nothing is being manufactured in Congo. Everything comes from Uganda, either Uganda or Rwanda. Except that robot. <laughs> the traffic light which is a humanoid. Tuvuke. Hakuna sapun. Made it. So if come on and I find a labot. Come on and I find a labot. That's labot. If you go down here, you go to place different country and there's the lack behind them. See how busy this place is, oh my goodness. Let's just walk. We're gonna walk through. Have a food in here? Yep. Try to avoid the police, like I've been told several times if I shoot the police it could lead me into trouble. So I try to avoid. This is another market here. Looks like they're selling vegetables. I guess it's the Marawa star around. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this car. Papa! I took a look up. 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 It's okay by me. Nisa wa tu kwangu mi mi sina problem. So yes. Just walking around. We're basically going just behind this, but there's no way to get there. We have to go around. These are also the shops. Have you guys noticed? I think I must just pass here behind. Have you guys noticed people are, right, are driving on the right side here? Yes, that's DLC. NDRC, the oncoming is on the left side. Containers. We use the shops. The other thing I'm realizing, there's no Pakistan guys here, Somalis. It's just local people. Who are doing the small trades, but the big trades are being operated by Ugandans and Rwandans. And there is no problem here. So there is no day that people stand up against the Rwandese and 
the Ugandan people doing business here. So they're just like, yeah, they understand, I think. But, uh, so as you say, like everybody is just free to trade. Depending whether you have the money, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. So I ask whether they, in any chance, are there any South Africans here? He says there's all sort of people here, and those ladies are selling dry fish. There are all sort of people here in this city, including South Africans. But I have not uh, met any South Africans. But the guy just said, it could be, they could be here, but he doesn't know and nobody cares. So, Kulona is in my shop. They work on our telephone. So in South Africa, I'm explaining to my guy that most uh, cell phone shops and spaza shops are operated by Pakistan and Ethiopians and Somalis. Looks like they're not here. Maybe because of the value of the money in Congo is less. They are not interested. But otherwise, yeah. That's what's happening right here. We are on our way to Independence Place. The time I left, the place used to be called uh, Place de 24, but uh, it, it, it was changed. And now it's being called Place of Freedom, the Freedom Place, I would love to call it, but the direct translation is like a place of independence. And that, that is the place right there. I think it's a lot of police who might have to cut off the video. I don't want to land into trouble. We have to cross. We have to cross. Now that's the problem. I think I'd rather go this way. <laughs> so the problem is dates, 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 dates everywhere. It's so dirty all over. I don't know why they do this. I think I'd rather come here, cross here, then cross there. There we go. So that's uh, the Independence Place, Freedom Park, I would love to call it. It's not allowed to go in the middle of there unless you want to lend yourself into trouble. It's 
I'm trying my best to avoid the police. Independence place. So when there's any officials, they host a meeting here. And uh, in the meantime, it's not allowed to, to get there. Plus the independence, for those who know Kavu, here is. Last time we passed here, we did not pass here several times. I came by bike and I also walked, but it wasn't as busy as it is. It was also late and it was raining. So yeah, I'm just trying my best to avoid the police. I'm actually going to have a quick one. I'm scared later to come here. I'm going to have a quick one. I'm going to have a camera. At least they're doing something, removing the date. That requires a lot of work. Like, it's a lot. So one thing you realize this is one entry to the city center and you will see many many people coming from villages to bring their goods into the city. Yeah. So right now it's still open but if you come later after four o'clock. There's gonna be another people, another group of people will come here and sell clothes and all sorts of stuff. That's a hard way. Look at how busy this place is, you guys. Just crazy. Constructions They're everywhere. I guess those guys will come and collect this as well. The date. this the police all over every maybe 50 meters I guess they are refusing people to trade on the roadside here there's a little bit of organization like you know they're pushing they're trying the best as you can see this oh, everywhere like every I think maybe 25 meters to 50 meters there is a cop trying to stop people from trading in the roadside. Otherwise, let's go. So now we're gonna leave the main road and go down here to vegetables market. Yes, it's, as I can see, there's a lot of fish being sold here. I guess it's allowed to trade around here. 
In Bukavu, everything goes, everything gets sold. They sell here for most products like fashion is second hand. Okay, not those ones. Let's go down. I think this road leads us to the lake. Because I can see it from here. And there is a ship. All ships you see around here are going to Goma, between Goma and Kavu. Looks like the sand is also a big trade here, because as you guys can see, the whole city is under construction. There are poles all over also. Oh no, maybe I should. Oh, even bricks, guys. <laughs> Being sold here. Here is the sand. These ones are loaded in the radio. As you can see, this is Idri. Oh, Mulaki Mengambuya Idri. So apparently, this whole sand comes from Idri. That's something I didn't know. Mm. This is the sand that is building the entire city. And I always say, like, Kavu is a city under construction. It's crazy. Cars, bikes. Almost impossible to cross. Crazy. Right. Cars, trucks. In the sense. Slim road. And they are just using people, youth, sometimes children, just to get the sand. So they are carrying this sand bit by bit and man, it's a whole project. Send us. Yeah, now we're gonna go inside the market, deep in the market. Palm oil. Jumbo? Jumbo. Mm. 